चेंज कर चलिए वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम डॉक्टर राहुल फ्रॉम ग्रुप नंबर वन अलॉन्ग विथ माई टीम मेम्बर डॉक्टर राहुल बुरांगे मिस्टर मोहम्मद खान मिस्टर तिरुपति गोस्कुला मिस्टर राजेंद्र मिस भाग्यश्री तो टूडेज वी आर ऑल गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी आर्टिकल डिस्कशन ऑफ दी पेपर विच वी रिसीव on an overview of deep learning in medical imaging uh, the author of this paper is imran ul haq next so this is my presentation outline uh, first i'll show the few key points from the abstract then deep learning brief introduction applications of deep learning in various fields Deep learning involves various tasks for medical image analysis. Deep learning models in medical image analysis. Wavelengths of freely available deep learning codes for medical image analysis. Then wavelengths of public data set, which are publicly available for training and testing uh, deep learning models. Challenges and future of deep learning in medical science. Ninth is summary, and last point is uh, related with the concluding remark. So I have just gone through the abstract, and from the ab abstract, I have uh, come to know that the primary purpose of this paper to provide a brief information about deep learning by discussing different deep learning models. second point which is mainly focused by the author is related with the discuss on which task deep learnings are involved for medical image processing third point which is focused by author in this paper is address some applications in the field of deep learning specially related with the medical imaging and last is providing the different useful links of some useful informative assets such as freely available deep learning codes and public data sets so authors have provided uh, the uh, the different links the different material related with that uh, the new um, uh, enthusiastic engineers or the researchers in the field of deep learning they can use the material from this link next please so you can see uh, the diagram basically click deep learning is the subset of machine learning method which is based on artificial neural network the word deep is referred to use the multiple layers between the input and output layer in the neural network and uh, uh, the methods which can be used uh, in deep learning are supervised semi supervised and unsupervised methods so in the another figure i have shown that the comparison with the traditional machine learning and deep learning you can observe in the figure that there is a human interference is shown in the conventional or traditional machine learning model in second figure you can observe that Uh, the deep learning model uh, whatever the human interference is eliminated or it is reduced uh, in the in the uh, deep learning model so therefore deep learning model is automated as compared with the conventional machine learning model this slide will show that uh, the authors have uh, given the lot of different applications in his paper so here i have chosen the few applications to uh, um, uh, in detail we have shown that um, the authors have suggested this application so in healthcare sector there is a use of deep learning uh, in healthcare sector there are different uh, areas in which the deep learning models can be implemented so the diagnosis prognosis and treatment of the diseases uh, in case of that the deep learning model can be implemented drug prescriptions in that area deep learning models are useful 
in addition to that analyzing the mris ct scan ecg x rays these are the different imaging modalities uh, in that to detect and notify about the medical anomalies or uh, to find out the different um, 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 uh, problems uh, uh, that can be find out by using the different imaging process or images then personalizing treatment is another uh, another area in which uh, the deep learning model can be useful monitoring the health of patients and more so regular monitoring of the patients can be uh, can be used into that the uh, uh, healthcare sector second uh, very important or recent area is the smart agriculture so in the area of smart ag agriculture it is also uh, useful like to improve the crop health and soil uh, health predict the weather detect the diseases i mean uh, the drones are used to capture the images and these images uh, further can process by using these deep learning models and to uh, predict that uh, the different diseases building high quality hybrids okay so develop the uh, different hybrid uh, crop for that um, the deep learning models can be useful then increase the crop yield per unit area to enhance the output from the irrigation uh, for that the uh, deep learning can be useful apart from that there are lot of applications like fake news detection in that area the deep learning can be useful apart from that uh, the autonomous vehicle in uh, automobile engineering for autonomous vehicle it is a recent area in which the deep learning model uh, will be useful uh, for uh, the different kind of the applications to detect the uh, sentiments of the human beings uh, uh, to detect the obstacles in front of the vehicle etc for that the deep learning models can be useful again uh, apart from that to find the distance and how much time will be taking to cover that distance uh, in that area again deep learning model can be useful in uh, especially the auto automobile field apart from that deep learning model can be useful in nlp nlp is the natural uh, language processing in that the deep learning model can be useful so uh, this slide will be showing that uh, we have taken that what um, uh, the uh, different task for medical image processing uh, Uh, which is involved by the deep learning uh, mentioned by the author in his paper uh, the uh, different uh, different tasks which are mentioned in detail in the paper so classification of medical images uh, is mentioned uh, of course it is required for disease diagnosis and identification the classification is important another task is detection so detecting the different abnormalities and anomalies in the medical images uh, that task will be performed next is image segmentation so accurate uh, delineation of structures in medical images um, uh, the image segmentation is uh, generally used i mean to create the boundaries in that day to different objects uh, for that the image segmentation is uh, uh, generally used image registration so aligning of comparing medical images for analysis and treatment planning uh, this task will be uh, useful uh, in deep learning model then apart from that feature extraction uh, which is uh, extracting the meaningful features from the medical images um, enabling the efficient and accurate interpretation uh, that that task will be uh, useful and last is uh, the visualization so visualization is uh, again another task used into the deep learning medical image processing techniques those are providing the uh, basically non invasive means to visualize and analyze the internal structures and the function of the body generally different imaging techniques uh, imaging techniques such as uh, ct scan x ray and uh, pet and uh, etc these are the different techniques are used for non invasive uh, image capturing of uh, the different uh, uh, human organs for the further processing or image processing uh the different deep learning models uh, are mentioned by the author in his paper uh, uh, supervised learning model and unsupervised learning model so under the supervised learning model authors have mentioned in detail about the uh, conventional neural network transfer learning and recurrent neural networks all these things we had already discussed in the previous days uh, in detail about that all these uh, uh, methods or methodologies under unsupervised learning models uh, auto encoders uh, generative adversarial networks which is called as gan restricted boltzmann machines rbms um, uh, can be come under that unsupervised learning model authors have uh, in detail mentioned that the uh, one applications uh, related with the convolution neural networks 
in that application he has shown that uh, the tumor detection uh, tumor and no tumor detection by using the convolution neural network so he has mentioned that the uh, the pathology like input images convolution layers are used then relu is provided then pooling will be provided and then fully connected uh, uh, layers and after that the output classes will be uh, uh, showing uh, whether the tumor or non tumor is available uh in paper uh, authors have also provided that the freely available deep learning codes for medical image analysis so uh, uh, for like us people uh, those are uh, started initially their research in this area they can use these uh, freely available codes for their uh, different practice or the training data they can use these uh, links so for different uh, names and references they have mentioned along with the different links and the description which type of the uh, uh, images and which type of methodologies they have used so authors have in detail mentioned into that the uh, paper uh, next authors have also given that the data set because data collection is a very challenging task in uh, the uh, um, uh, the image processing area therefore the public data set is available for training and testing deep learning models so uh, researchers can use these uh, uh, models for their different applications so for example the first will be provided with the data set of uh, 14355 patient images from 77 sites for the uh, cancer uh, detection uh, similarly for the different uh, 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 diseases they have provided the data set now i have just uh, find some challenges from the paper whatever the overview uh, was done by the authors out of that the first challenge uh, which i have observed through the paper is the paper mentioned that the need for robust and diverse data set for training deep learning models that is availability of diverse and well annotated annotated uh, medical image data set for training dl models which is very crucial so data set uh, will be not from that only one geographic area or only one side but the data should be a diversified uh, it will be included uh, the uh, lot of conditions lot of parameters and from the different geographical area so that data set may be a qualitative data set and uh, this is one of the major challenge for all the researchers second the author emphasized the importance of high quality data set that encompass various medical condition and image modalities so uh, authors have suggested that uh, in future you can go with that the different medical conditions it may happen that uh, the cancer will be occurred because of some other uh, kind of the parameters not by only the one parameter therefore these uh, multiple parameters we need to be consider uh, uh, to create or uh, to use into that the uh, dl model and different image modalities like ct scan and other modalities we can use in com uh, combination of these modalities like x ray and ct scan uh, together can be used uh, a fusion of these two images can be used for the application so uh, last challenge which is mentioned by uh, the uh, author is the author also acknowledge limitation in computational resources including processing power memory constraints especially when dealing with the large medical image files so this is the major issue uh, uh, faced by each and every researcher uh, that the computational resources or computational capabilities are very limited therefore we cannot uh, handle the uh, big data uh, or large data uh, by using that available facility so this is these are the uh, major challenges which i have observed that in the paper authors have mentioned next authors have also mentioned the few points related with the future work Uh, what are the different futuristic points we will be consider uh, uh, we will be consider or the researcher will be consider the author acknowledge that the application of dl in healthcare is still in its earlier stages uh, but appreciate the existence of robust research program and dl based project in the industry so authors have mentioned that still healthcare sector is now um, um, lagging uh, for uh, this kind of the application uh but authors have also appreciated at the same time that the research program and dl based projects are going on into the industry uh, industries are taking initiatives along with the academic uh, uh, academic uh, academic educational industries so uh still there is a work required to uh, into the healthcare sector second is the author also suggests that 
DL will continue to play a vital role in improving the medical diagnostic and treatment leading to enhance the patient care. So by keeping in our mind the objective of the patient care and how to improve that the diagnostic treatments uh, or diagnostic um, uh, uh, systems uh, by providing the uh, good results from the uh, deep learning models uh, that can be uh, that can be a future future scope. Last is uh, the authors have emphasized the potential of deep learning to revolutionize medical treatment and practice by providing automatic, precise and efficient algorithm for medical image processing. So still there is a scope into the medical image processing to get a more and more accurate results. So uh, this is again come under the future scope from the author. In summary, uh, I have provided here uh, what are the different highlights uh, given by the authors. So paper highlights the significant advancement made into the DL for uh, medical imaging, the emphasizing its potential to improve the diagnostic technologies and healthcare services. Authors discuss the benefit of uh, deep learning in the mimicking of human brain neurons and identifying the patterns in the digital images. The success of DL relies on the number of neuron layers used for computation, which is enhanced using graphics processing units with a high speed processes. The authors also mention the wide range of medical image modalities such as X-ray, CT scan, MRI, uh, PET scan, hist uh, histology slides, retinal photography, etc. And increasing the volume of that data uh, generated by these modalities is important that is emphasized by the authors. Author also highlight the need for uh, uh, efficient data processing and architecture design to handle the large scale or large data set uh, of the images. In addition to that, the paper also presents an overview, complete overview of the DL models used in medical images, which is focused on both supervised and unsupervised learning approaches. In particular, the uh, CNNs are extensively discussed as the most popular uh, DL models for medical imaging due to their uh, the ability to capture the uh, spatial relationship into the images and the paper also provides the high level of uh, the algorithms and descriptions related with the CNN and their application in the medical images classification. At last, uh, uh, I have just come on to that the concluding remarks from the paper. Uh, I found that the two concluding remarks the from the paper, the paper provides a comprehensive overview of the deep learning uh, medical imaging and discussing its uh, different applications, uh, the challenges, uh, uh, those are uh, discussed by the author and future prospects and future uh, work can be uh, uh, carried out by the researchers uh, that will be provided into that future prospect. And last is it underscores the importance of the DL in advancing the medical science and highlights the need for that further research and development uh, in this rapidly evolving field. So thank you. So thank you very much uh, the KDK Institute, uh, HOD of ENTC and all uh, organizing team and the management for giving me this opportunity to present in front of all uh, researchers. Thank you. Thanks a lot.
Uh, good afternoon, participants. The paper which was given to participants that was given to us to our group group seven, entitled "Deep Learning Applications in Medical Data Analysis." This particular paper was authored by four authors: Justin Kier, Nico Wang, Jai Rao, and Koi uh, Song Lim. Actually, coincidentally, the paper contains and uh, the group one what is presented he presented very nicely presented all the theoretical aspects have already been covered that is why i cut it into only single slide almost the same things are there in this but here what the author there emphasizes that it is actually a review paper so what the authors have done they have reviewed so many papers which were contributed uh, contributed to only the medical imagination and in that uh, they found that the machine learning algorithm had a very means wide uh, applications in medical sciences and what they have done they have uh, gathered 15 years data in the united states in which the imaging imaging uh, work was done in uh, diagnosis of the health element the data that they collected uh, included 30 million images In last 15 years, for which they have taken the data, 39 million images. But what they did, they focused on two diseases. One was the brain tumor, already explained by my predecessor here, and and the third, second one was the lung disorder. Lung disorder was broken down into various diseases of the lung, like lung cirrhosis. Uh, tuberculosis and other elements it was broken down into so many aspects and how the machine learning code, uh, code can help in classification of that particular kind of disease what they have done uh, and the, what did they emphasize that uh, why this is needed and what was finally what, where we want to go after 5 years or uh, after 10 years where we want to go that every man in this universe in this world must carry his EW electronic health record EH EH ah uh, electronic health record like a micro uh, small uh, in the pen drive or say the in um, his email his EH that's all finish and what he said uh, the, the four authors uh, said that this uh, EH would hardly be a few million megabyte where there is a single MRI is more than 100 uh, megabyte single MRI So entire lives which are electronically health electronic health record comes in only few megabytes, in which you might have gone through numerous uh, imaging medical uh, imaging uh, imaging. So family might have gone into number of images in single uh, uh, this uh, in short you can have entire families which are and electronic health record. What did this what they have done actually? when they collected 39 million images they diagnosed they started diagnosing these two diseases brain uh, tumor and 
lung disorder so all sorts of uh, segmentation detection and then final registration classification segmentation detection everything that right uh, wrote they wrote the code for that uh, and they try to find out how it gets classified finally into particular kind of decision they, they found that in 39 million images the actually was not more than 52 percent there where they uh, emphasized that if the machine algorithm is put to help sector how reliable result it can get and how they prove to be fatal if the diagnosis is not properly done so they uh, gave the figures that after uh, means application of machine learning code the from 6.9 percent which was earlier 15 years before image because in what happens if we go to some uh, stress test we take the x-ray is taken up no doubt but some radiologists read it uh, visually find it where is the problem so it differs from expert to expert he has to only look at the image and find out what kind of element in the lung uh, is there in the shown, shown by the image and again it differs from expert to expert when expert eye through machine codes codes were applied he found that the uh, accuracy rose from 6.9% to 67%. And there we will emphasize that machine learning algorithm is a must now in America. This, uh, this study was the US based study in this 39 million, million images were diagnosed by the very large data. Deep learning was applied by them. Our theoretical aspect have already been explained what the deep learning, what is the, uh, how that is implemented. Theoretical part has been covered by my predecessor, uh, and what they uh, said that CNN uh, is the best out of the super, uh, supervised and non-supervised learning. They concluded that convolution neural network they are the best. RNN also they applied, CNN they applied, non-supervised learning also they applied, but they found that and they concluded that the CNN gives the higher level of the accuracy. And that too very speedily, very fast. So time, reliability, and accuracy. So these three things, when they are attached to any medical image, image uh, analysis, it uh, it gives the more secured health diagnosis to the particular patient or uh, uh, human being. And they said that if uh, these things, these major diseases uh, like uh, tumor. Our lungs. If these major diseases can be taken up, uh, taken care appropriately by the CNN or RRA, RNN. So uh, the RNN is a weaker in neural network, but basically what we do in neural uh, RNN, uh, the doctor textual input gives to the code, uh, the uh, textual input. So textual input is converted to appropriate matrix, matrix, matrix. Textual input in RNN. In CNN, images are converted they are given. So they use both are equally uh, good, but CNN used the more accurate and more uh, fast and more reliable images. So finally, they said each and every one <coughs> by 2025 will get each and every citizen to work. We have his electronic health regarding HR machine. Wherever he goes throughout the world, he will carry his EHR in his mobile. In the form of that, number of times he might have tested his blood, might have tested anything, whatever element, whatever wherever he has gone for uh, taking the medical uh, assistance, whichever doctor, everything will get recorded. He finally concluded that there should be a appropriate regulation also for it. This is the fantasy of this paper. That the government should take the initiative in that, and the uh, appropriate regulation should be uh, formulated in which each and every one, whoever goes. Under the composition of that uh, regulation, his record should get in a certain centralized data bank should must get it so. Uh, it means that the next step, what they say, that even if you are not getting your record, you will be given only the password. Using that pa password, certain centralized place where the data is your stored, only if you're using that password, you can uh, retrieve your data. 
your not only your doctor but your entire family is that so that uh, they emphasize and then this that is that is why i uh, found this this is very useful paper thanks to the coordinator and thanks to the <coughs> organizer of this uh, particular program that they have given us such a one rule paper in which this future trend they have shown where the uh, man can is uh, going to land into uh, line into uh, in, in the earthquake uh, uh, from the point of view of the medical health and uh, uh, image processing and machine learning how it can be used and applied accurately for diagnosis and that is what they count that after 10 years in 2025 and they put up the paper uh, 10 years in 2025 they said that each and every citizen of the world must have his uh, electronic ehr uploaded at certain center of place in the world he does not care he is not to carry anything and that too he, they said that there should be by means of certain regulation by the god right from the work till the death so this is the this was the very nice fantasy about this paper so thank you for the uh, uh, thank you to the organizers for giving such a wonderful paper to our group group sir thank you very much our delivery not going to be uh, pretty difficult because uh, he very nicely explained the uh, theoretical part of that so actually this is theory uh, part is also there in that but almost it was coinciding with what he said and was deliberately uh, truncated that part that is why truncated my three slides also because they were also there on the same part of the theoretical aspect thank you Thank you. 